So there are three different types of systems whenever you're talking about linear systems. There are three different types of solutions that you can get. You can get one solution, which means the two lines intersect in one point. That is called an independent system. So in almost all of the previous problems that we've done, we've had independent systems. I think maybe we had one that wasn't. You can also get an inconsistent system. That's where the lines are parallel to each other. They're never going to intersect. This will give you no solution. So this has one solution, this has no solution, okay? You can also have a dependent system, and that means when you graph one line and then you graph the other line, they, they are the exact same lines. That's called an, a dependent system, and if this is the case, you have infinitely many solutions. So this gives you no solution. This one gives you infinitely many solutions. So a lot of times it's okay to just leave your answer like this. There are infinitely many solutions, but we also need to know how to write something that represents all those solutions. And we're going to do that in one of these following problems. Having technical difficulties, I hope this is still recording properly. Alright, so look at the first example. Based on the three methods that we've already learned, which would be the best to solve this particular system? We know graphing is not good, so we're going to throw that one out the window. So we have elimination and we have substitution. Well, if you notice, x is already solved for, so substitution sounds like a really good idea. We can take all of this and we can substitute it in for x right there. So we're going to have 9 minus 2y, that's our x value plus 2y is equal to 13. Well, do I really need these parentheses? We're just adding all this together, right? So we really don't need them. So let's go ahead and add. Negative 2y plus 2y is 0, so we get 9 equals 13. Oh, that's not true, is it? This is not a true statement. There are no, there's nothing else we can do. This system has no solution, and it is called an inconsistent system inconsistent <laughs> looks funny all right what about the next one what's the best way to solve this one substitution would work because all we would have to do is move the 2x over but I could also just multiply this one by a 3 right I would end up with 3y minus 6x equals 15. Look at that other equation. Negative 3y plus 6x equals negative 15. Well, that's 0 and that's 0. So on the left we get 0 and that's 0. Everything went to 0. This is a true statement. This is where we have one of those infinitely many solutions situations. Because if you graph this line, this line would lay right on top of it. So they intersect everywhere. This has infinitely many solutions. This is called a dependent system. Now, how can we write something that represents all those infinitely many solutions? Well, look back at our equations. Wouldn't it be easy to solve this one for y? We can add 2x to both sides, right? So y is equal to 2x plus 5. So whenever you have an ordered pair, don't you have an x and a y value? Okay, well this says y is equal to all that, right? So we're going to have something and then a y, which is 2x plus 5. All I did here was instead of writing y in my ordered pair, I wrote what y was equal to. Well, since this has an x in it, 
I need something to represent x over here. Well, x is x, so I just need an x right there. This particular ordered pair would satisfy every possible solution to the system. So we could actually pick some value. Let's just see how it works. We could pick some value for x. Let's say x equals 1. Well, if x equals 1, I can plug it in there. 2 times 1 plus 5 would be my y value. So y is going to be 2 times 1 is 2, which is 7. So 1, 7 is one of the solutions for this system. You could pick some other random x, like x equals negative 10 if you wanted to. Substitute that in for your y value. So y is equal to 2 times negative 10 plus 5. That's going to be negative 20 plus 5 or negative 15. So negative 10 negative 15 is also a solution for that system. And you could do this all day long for the rest of your life. Okay, as long as you keep picking x values, substitute them in here for your y, you can find an ordered pair that satisfies the system. So this particular ordered pair represents all of those that we could possibly find.